Let's learn how to find the slope of two points. I'm going to go ahead and graph these two points that we have here. First one is 4, 1. So 4 and 1 would be right there. And then my other point is 7, 3. 7, 1, 2, 3. Why am I doing that? Well, on your homework or on a test, you may see a graph. It may just have two points, and it may say, find the slope of those two points. Well, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to write their coordinates out. So you can actually visualize them, and you can actually go ahead and label them x1, y1, x2, y2. Why do I want you guys to do that? Because this is the formula for slope. Slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's why I really like that you guys go ahead and label it. Now, another thing I want to point out to you guys is this m. m from now on represents slope. When? For example, when y equals mx plus b, the m stands for our slope. Okay, so remember, m stands for slope, and here's our formula. Let's go ahead and now plug the values in. So here we go. y2 is actually going to equal 3. So I'm going to go ahead and take out y2, and I'm going to substitute in a 3. Okay, now, that minus sign must always stay there. Okay, very important, that minus sign stays in our equation. Now y1 is going to be 1, so I'm going to erase y1. You guys go ahead and plug in 1 in there. Okay? Now x2 is 7, so let's take that x2 out and plug in a 7. And x1 is 4. And notice, again, I left my negative sign. Okay? Very important that you guys remember that that negative sign is there or that minus sign. Now all we have to do is say 3 minus 1 gives me 2, and 7 minus 4 gives me 3. Therefore, my slope, or my m, is equal to 2 over 3. So the slope of these two points is 2 over 3. Well, take a look at this. If I count my slope from this point, and I go up to, or I rise to, 1, 2, and then I run 3, one, two, three, I actually end up at my other point, and that's how I know that my slope is correct. Before we continue on, I want to stop and remind you guys to memorize this formula. I don't always tell you guys to memorize things, but right now I am. Memorize the formula to find the slope. It's very important that you guys know that. Now, let's go ahead and practice. We can fine-tune our skills here. Remember, we have our two points, and we have our x1 and our y1, and then we have our x2 and our y2. And I'm going to go ahead and graph them so at the end we can just check to see if our slope came out correctly. So I have negative 5 and negative 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then negative 1 would be right there. So that's my first point, and I have 4 and negative 3, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, down 3. All right, so those are my two points. So at the end, if I really want to know if my slope came out correctly, I can count from one point to the other the rise over the run. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and plug in our values. So again, before we continue, remember, memorize the slope. Simple. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what is our y2? My y2 now is negative 3. So it's important that you bring the signs. Minus y1, which is a negative 1. Notice I do not erase my negative or my minus, and I go ahead and put in there negative 1. So now we have a negative next to another negative. What I always like to do is make sure you have to put your parentheses to separate the signs. Personally, I like to combine those two signs to my happy face, which means make it into a positive. So whenever you have those two negatives next to each other, turn it into one positive sign. Now, if you're not sure what I'm talking about there with my happy face, take some time and watch the video on adding and subtracting integers. They have a cool tip in that video. Now I know that that's the same as negative 3 plus 1. Okay, my x2 is 4 minus my x1, which is negative 5, so I erase that, and I put in my negative 5, and as I've just taught you guys, 
two negatives equal a happy phase, and when you're happy, that's a positive, so turn that into a plus sign. Now, I went through that quickly because you can see that video on it, guys. Now we get the same as 4 plus 5. That's a lot easier to think about. Now I have negative 3 plus 1. That gives me negative 2 over 4 plus 5. That gives me 9. So my slope, or my m, equals negative 2 over 9. Let's check our answer. I start at this point, and it tells me to rise or go down a negative 2. Right? So I go down 1, down 2, and then it tells me to run a positive 9. So I would run to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Perfect. So where do I land? On my other point. Therefore, my slope of negative 2 over 9 is correct.